On a chilly November day off the coast of Virginia, Navy Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD, Training and Evaluation Unit 2 is conducting mine neutralization exercises to stay agile and ready for deployment. We have to train like we fight, and this is one of the best areas to do it in. These waters provide ideal conditions for the EOD team stationed at Naval Amphibious Base, Little Creek, Fort Story. With the cold water and the limited visibility, you know, if you can operate out here, you can operate anywhere. But these waters are also home to a variety of marine mammals. So the Navy maintains strict mitigation protocols. During explosive training exercises, the Navy requires lookouts to actively monitor the mitigation zone. And if something's seen, then we put a stop on the evolution uh, until the mammal moves out of the area, and we only commence it 30 minutes after the last sighting of that animal. For a few events each year, the EOD team's observations are augmented by a team of Navy scientists and marine mammal observers. Knowing when, where, and how marine mammal distribution overlaps with Navy training allows the Navy to improve its environmental assessments and mitigation measures. This research is conducted as part of a Navy-wide marine species monitoring program and is not just limited to Virginia or only to explosives training. Anywhere where there's a major explosive training exercise or sonar training exercise, there are Navy marine mammal biologists going out and doing surveys here off the East Coast, off the West Coast, and in Hawaii. The Navy is really working towards trying to understand better what the potential impacts um, could be from these type of training events. Uh, so the monitoring really helps get at those answers. Back in Virginia, monitoring work begins the day before and continues for a full day following the EOD training event, which allows biologists to study the occurrence and behavior of marine mammals before, during, and after the exercise. We have two boats. There is a boat that is focused on acoustic monitoring, and there's a boat that is focused on visual monitoring. Got sighting over here. So hopefully if there's an animal out there that we can't see visually because it's underwater, then hopefully we'll pick it up on the acoustic recorders. So we're pretty well covered. Keeping a watchful eye for marine mammals can be a challenge when the weather kicks up. For me as a marine mammal observer, the biggest challenge is the weather. There's been some pretty rough days out there. The visual team scans the surface of the sea, while the acoustic monitoring group listens below. Through several years of surveys, we've learned that there are not as many dolphins as we originally anticipated in that area. Most of the dolphins seem to be hanging out near the shore and the shore break and not so much off offshore. So for a site location for a training range, this is ideal. To complete the training evolution, EOD divers tactically locate the target mine and set a charge to destroy it. If a lookout observes a marine mammal in the mitigation zone, the EOD team will delay setting the charge until the animal is out of harm's way. We're around here looking for marine mammals over. But today, nothing is seen. The fuse burns down. We're about one minute out from detonation. And the target mine is safely destroyed. Taking an adaptive approach, the Navy is coordinating with the National Marine Fisheries Service to refine monitoring techniques and gain a better understanding of the impacts of Navy activities on marine mammals. Now we're trying to develop a system that we can in real time also detect these animals, but not only that, be able to tell where the animals are in relation to the detonation site. This new research may ultimately allow the Navy greater certainty in avoiding adverse impacts of at-sea training and testing activities on marine mammals. The overall goal is to get information on the distribution of animals in the area, to monitor whether animals might be exposed during events, and then um, also to try and determine whether there is a response as part of that exposure. I love the ocean. I've grown up in the ocean my whole life. I see that there's, a, you know, there's definitely a value in uh, preserving it and making sure that you know, what we're doing today isn't damaging anything for the future. The Navy is committed to being a good steward of the sea while maintaining military readiness. Navy scientists and environmental planners support the Navy's mission and environmental commitments by preparing environmental planning documents, managing a comprehensive marine species monitoring program, and designing and executing numerous other environmental stewardship projects
sponsored by the United States Fleet Forces Command.